Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We are here with the stars of the show that annoy my life when I'm working. <laughs> ah, happy Saturday, everyone. Let me get on camera. We have a special treat today. Agway. Agway. The model in a year, stickers, all kinds of things are, are washed off. But um, the guy who sold it to me, <laughs> he did it. He did his best to sort of clean up everything, spray paint everything. This is an Agway GT. 1846 this has an industrial commercial engine this has an 18 horsepower v-twin internal combustion engine cast iron bore it's really smooth when it runs um, it looks like they might be uh, opposing opposing pistons, but it's really smooth. Um, so let's get it started. Not too much more talking. Really small blades, to be honest, if you ask me. And uh, he said he put new blades on this. They look pretty clean, right? And. Um, new belts <laughs> he just threw paint everywhere you know didn't didn't really care he just not the best paint job but it is painted he tried to cover up the sticker when he painted didn't cover it up perfectly but it does come with lights so rear tail lights and also headlights let me know if you're interested in this. Um, or if you want to do some shows on it. This one has a, a real, real slow gear. Real low gear. Um, we got park. We have incline assist brake. So um, in case you are you don't want to roll, you can control your brakes. Um, and we got first, second, um, reverse. It's in reverse right now. And then we got uh, third and fourth in neutral. So, um, yeah, this, let's get it started. Let's get it running. Alright. Need the jumper pack. This battery was weak yesterday. I think I have a battery somewhere around here. Seat is wet. Oh, my butt's going to get wet. And he also painted the seat. Why? It's like, why would you do that? And he painted over the hour meter. I mean, um, the amp, what do you call it? The amp meter. <sighs> Down. Pull for choke. And... Neutral, parking brake is up, all right. Yeah, this is a pretty big engine.
I need to jump it with my Might need to jump it with the truck. See how long is my extension cord? Extension cord is pretty long. I got plenty of room. It's uh, about a hundred feet. All right. got a, a new pretty weak battery here waiting from tractor supply these travelers sometimes they can sit on the shelf at tractor supply for a long time i'm not saying don't buy batteries from tractor supply but if you think of tractor supply as your your really fresh battery source you might have the wrong thinking so um <laughs> yeah You know, they do a real good job with other other parts that last 20 years, but and tools and things like that, but not a good battery source. These things could be on the shelf for months and months before they sell them. Look, this battery is like halfway old, measuring at 12.4. Let's see if I can... Give it a boost. Because I'm going to have to drop that in here. That, that battery is too small. 250 amp battery for a big old engine like this. I don't, I don't think that's good enough. Uh, fuel filter here. Looks like it's... Man, flat. I've never seen a flat fuel filter. Probably change that out. Um, all right, without trying to use the jumper pack, I mean, um, without trying to use the uh, man, <laughs> I, it's probably I got probably outtakes of ah, uh, mm, ah, uh, uh. uh. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can compile. A, 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 there we go again. A, a compilation video. This battery is what? Nineteen? No. Eighteen. Wow. Twenty eighteen. This is a. Really old, old, old battery. All right, the posts are flipped on that, so he got a new solenoid. Okay, I see what he did here. All right, let's try to crank it. It's been sitting for a little while on the jumper pack. Let's try the jumper pack. Not enough from the jumper pack. Let's try. All right, that little bit of time, let's see. We're at 13.3. So, I mean, this battery is okay. It's just tiny. 250 cranking amps. This is a nice machine, man. When I heard it crank up and and run, I said, oh, okay, there's some value in it. Hopefully, some customer will see value also because, like I saw, because, whoo! I think I 
spent like was it 300 bucks on on each of these 300 for that 300 for this we'll just call it that he had his own numbers he said he was giving me this agway for for 200 dollars uh but i would never ever pay 400 for that mtd yard machines right in front there so whatever he was thinking he is mistaken here yeah anyway all right, let's uh, let's see what this battery is measuring at. 11 volts, 10.9. It's good enough to run an LED light in the yard. All right, so let's throw the let's throw the uh, 200 amp boost on, and let's see if we can get this going. Let's start with a 40 amp boost. Let's see how much juice you actually need to to get this motor going get the motor running head out on the highway um it's not liking that 40 year boost all right let's try 200 amp. you keep shutting off when i say it's not liking it it's called animism when you give something that has no life a spirit the word the root word of anima animal and all that is for spirit so okay yeah that's a lot of amps right there for it i don't want to blow any fuses or anything but Okay, it shut off. So let me try to... Keep shutting off. Like, this battery is actually not good at all, so... On 200 amps. having a hard time yep we got good contact there Yeah, probably install a, new, a different battery and then try to try to jump it. It's trying. Even if I let it sit, it's, I don't know, it's been sitting on the other jumper pack too. Yeah. Uh, I don't like messing with anything up here. Oh, the belts are, look like they might be engaged. What's up with that? No, they're not. They're down. This is down. The choke is on. Headlights are off. Fuel is partially up. Now it's on max. Alright, let me go get this a ratchet set. Uh Okay. Let's see if this is American stuff or at a size 10. Let 
and pliers. Oh, it said ready. Maybe it wasn't ready before. Let's give it a chance. Definitely more turning, but those battery connections seem to be good. So I think it's because I was not waiting until the the, the jumper, the <coughs> shoe Schneider shoemaker, the Schumacher. Bully, what? <clears throat> Heavy duty built starting. Something like that. Um, 200 amp engine start. 40 amp boost and two amp trickle charge. Yeah, I wasn't waiting until it was ready. It said ready, so. Can you see that? I'm starting to get lazy as a cameraman. That's not good for YouTube, is it? You guys want to see all the angles and all that. And I'm here being lazy. Huh. They painted this red. I don't think it was originally meant to be red. It looks like it was gray. Interesting. Interesting choice of colors, my friend. Yeah, Agway 1846. Oh, says ready. I hear something. It sounds like it's boiling up here. All right, let's go. It's trying. Cold last night. Ooh, it needs a huge battery here, like a regular size. Come on. He's been jumping it. He said he'd been jumping it using his uh, car. Oh, it's not, it's not on. Two hundred and boost. Seems like a weak starter. I might need to change the starter. Not very good. All right. Let me change out this battery. You guys can come on up here. Get over here, you.
still looks like a size 10. Size 12. It is American. Size 11. Size 11 nut on a battery. That ain't right. I mean, if you're going to sell something to people, why would you not just change the battery? And that's what I do to all my stuff. I change the battery. Because, honestly, like a 12, a 20, 2015, 2018 battery... Nah, bro. Nah, bro. That is not the move. Battery. In 2024. Not the move. Not the move. Not gonna cut it. Ugh. My, uh, my nephew needs a job for the summer. He can come down and help out on the ranch. Change batteries, change, uh, cut, cut the yard. I can teach him some chemistry. One small battery for another small battery. Yeah. Sorry. That's what it's going to be. I don't know what this other... That must be for lights. Yeah. That's definitely for lights. This battery cable is short. Uh-oh. Also, haven't seen my wire brush in a while. Because hmm. I like to get these connections real nice and clean. You've seen my video before doing the wire brush. Oh, that is short right there. The solenoid. 
Why would you put it there, though? And then not touching the... <clears throat> Man, bro. Bro. All right, let me see if I have another battery. Ha! <laughs> The answer is no. <laughs> I sold so many mowers that I don't have an extra battery. Not cool. Not cool. Might have to finish this up another day. Um, or move this. Maybe I can move this solenoid. Yeah. Yeah, it's bent anyway. Okay. That gave me a little more room right there. And this goes on the other side. So I should be able to slide this back a little bit turn this might have to bend it Yep, like that, and this, I guess on the top now. So we'll put this all through, that there, the lights, or whatever that is, on top here. See if I can get a nut on that. Looks like I can put the accessories on the other side. Make some more room for the nut on this side. Okay. All right. Come on, you can do it. I'm hearing little beeping sounds in my in my ears. I'm not sure what my phone is trying to tell me. Probably getting like messages. Turn the Titan.
Okay, we'll get the positive. We'll get the positive. Where'd it go? <laughs> no. Really? Really? The positive cable dropped somewhere down here. Not happy. Not happy. Man. Hmm. Man, it's like it disappeared. What the heck? Oh, oh my gosh. Here it is. Right here. <laughs> Up in the air. Um, st way too short. If you ask me. Alright. <laughs> Not washer. Two bolts. Let's put them both the same way. Alright. No copyright strikes from my neighbors. Get a good tight connection there. Okay, let's see how dead this battery is. This starter is having a hard time. All right. Got some amperage in there. Um, ow! Bump my knee. Sorry. Sorry to scream in your ears. <laughs> All right, we'll get some choke. I'll tell you, that's smooth running engine. Wow. It really is. There is no, look at this, look at this. There's no vibration up here. Look at, look, look at this. There's little or no vibration up here. Look at that. Look at that.
I'm all right. <laughs> they want to see that I'm okay. So let's go take a look here. Real interesting. I mean, basically, yeah. <laughs> basically, the same thing. Just the older style, and yeah, I mean, they, they still run. Nice and smooth. Look at the vibration on that. The noise. Look the size. Look the smooth. But it's an industrial commercial engine, so. This is not one of the ones that will that are MTV cheapo. Let me let you hear the difference. Let's, let's, let's do a sound check. Listen to this. If this one will even start. Choke. Nope. And that's a new battery, y'all. Jumper pack might be getting weak. Let's see. Sound test with that one. Twenty 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 two or twenty twenty one nineteen ninety one. I can hear this one louder than this one. C one forty. Agway. Turn 
Germany. Okay, that might be a more a more fair comparison. I turn the throttle down on both. About the same. And if we had all these holes covered up here, be about the same. So that, that's putting putting these new mowers to shame. I gotta tell you that I, I uh, am impressed by that Agway. It's like our ancestors always knew a little more. <laughs> That's what it seems like anyway. This says heritage. I just noticed the sticker that they painted over it. Heritage. It has a cat right here. With a plastic. Oh so, yeah. Um, emission standards were better back in the day. I mean, uh, better now, but back in the day were not existent. All right, we'll save some gas. So this does have drafts, the draft mode. Um, this Agway, definitely something that you can you could probably do something with. Uh, let me know what you can do with these these older tractors. Um, that's all we're gonna have time for today. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think my my nephew can do around the yard. Um, I got a lot of things over there to get 